of solution and power. Mercy land. A reign of solution and power. Mercy land. A reign of solution and power. Indeed, Mercy land is a reign of solution to your problem. My name is Amarachi Elechi, Mrs. Beside is my darling husband. I'm here to testify what God has done in my life by delivering me from the hand of spiritual husband. It has not been easy. For over 11 years I got married. I've been passing through hell. I am blessed with five children, but I don't have peace in my home. All the time, I feel like leaving the home to have my comfort. Most of the times, if I have problem with my husband, unless if he comes and kneel down and plead me before I reconcile with him. If he refuses to do it, the problem will continue. Even to cook in the house, I will not cook. And I will not eat myself, I will hate myself totally. I only have comfort when I go to my place of work. Even when I close, I don't feel like going home. Indeed. When we had the second problem, I packed my things, I left the house. I didn't even think of going back to the house before he ran and called men of God to come and plead me. And they pled me before I came back. The third time, problem came. That one I was telling myself that this one is the last. Let, let me just leave this house and have my peace. So, a day to the day I was planning to leave. He came and pled me that I should please forgive him. I should please forgive him that he don't want anything to happen to our family, that he really loved me. I said, if you really love me, you would have done something to bring solution to this problem. What effort have you made since I started suffering in this house? He now asked me, what do I want him to do? I said, we have been watching Mercy TV, and we have been seeing a lot of testimonies going on. Our own is it going to be different? Let's move to the arena of solution. Power. Like Can you celebrate the Lord God of Prophet Jeremiah Moto for fame? People have gone making louder than that. So, what happened when you came down to Mercy City? When we came here on Friday, that was two days ago. Man of God vindicated my problem out. I was surprised because I've not seen him before. He called me out. I was shocked. I couldn't talk. I said, God, is that how you are? To see me as a sinner, to bring me out from the millions. God, you are faithful indeed. Power. Wow. Can we make it louder than that? So, before you can go ahead with your testimony, people of God and viewers out there, let's watch the playback in order to see how our sister was located by God Almighty through the servant of God, Prophet Jeremiah Water for Fame. Let's watch. How are you? Are you married? Yes, man of God. Eh? Yes, man of God. You are married? Yes, man of God. You are what? I'm married. You are married? Yes, man of God. Do you know me? No, I have not seen you before. Eh? I have not met you. You never seen me. Eh? Where do you come from? I came from Taraba State. Taraba State. Can I? Bro! Professor! I don't know. I don't know what is happening. And God is telling me something to tell that woman to deliver her. If not, there is a problem that this woman is, I don't know. The woman is passing through. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. You, I am seeing a man standing beside you. And I'm seeing this man is putting on black jeans, like a black canvas or black shoe. 
and I'm seeing it, he put on like, like my color like this, black and this thing, and black, black and white t-shirt, and I'm seeing a, I'm seeing this hand, I am seeing golden wristwatch, I am seeing the color of the shirt, it is black, and I'm seeing it's like your husband, who is that person? It's my husband. Where is he? He's sitting at the front. Can I prophesy? Husband, come here, husband, come here, husband, husband. Who is that? Let me see your shoes. Your shoes are black. Dès que l'homme de Dieu n'a des Your shoes are accurate prophecy. Prophesy. Come here. Oh yeah, come here. Okay, you are the husband. Yes, sir. Have you come to me before? No, sir. Okay, come. Problem. What I'm seeing right now. Let me see the shoe. Let me see the treasure. Let me see his hand. Which color of rich was he put it on? Which was? Is it? Ah, uh, bro. Hey, let me see the color. Can I? bro. You are the husband. Yes. You are the husband. Yes. Now you and this woman want to separate. Separate. I'm seeing separation is about to take place. Are you? It's mean? true. It's true because we are. Wait, okay. It's, it's, it's true. It's true. Okay. Now, woman. I am seeing a place. I take my own jeep from Mercy City. Mm. I travel to Pini City. I enter into Pini. It is not okay for me. From Pini, I now drive straight down to a dead called Taraba. I enter into Taraba. When I enter Taraba, I'm talking to this man. Are you ready to answer me? Yes. I enter into Taraba. When I enter Taraba, I am seeing this is called the place of Taraba is not enough for me. The state. I enter into Jalingo. Jalingo, that is where Jalingo. I stay. That is where I am. That's where you stay. Yes, that is where we are staying. That's where you stay. That is where we stay. Oh, can I professor? Hey, listen. I want to tell you something. I don't know what's still happening. Ask Keke, Keke, Keke man, take me to a place called Mayo, Mayo, Mayo Dasa, Mayo, Mayo Dasa, Mayo Dasa, Mayo Dasa, yes, Mayo Dasa. Who live there? Mayo Dasa. Which street? At the street. That way you live. That street. That way you live. That is the street, and that is why I reside. You are living there. I living there. That is my street. Professor, that's all. I enter into when I enter into Mayo Dasa. I am now at my left hand side. I am seeing this is a compound. I'm seeing a compound. This compound, I am seeing there are beauties inside, but I'm seeing a particular beauty. A steady bedroom flat. The roof, it is mixed color roof. And I'm seeing another one. It's a long house. I'm seeing two bedroom flat, two bedroom flat. And I'm seeing another one. Yes, families. Yes, and I'm seeing confirm. there's somebody, there are two families are living this. Confirm. And I enter into the center. When I enter, I am seeing, can I, bro, go deeper. When I enter into, oh, somebody saw here the prophet. We hear you, Papa. Right on, sir, professor. When I enter inside, uh, inside the house, when I see, I am seeing shears, pen of shears. I am seeing color, brown. I'm seeing black. Black and what? Me color. Me color. Me color. Black. Black. Brown. And meek. Exactly. Bro. Exactly. Bro. Something happened. When I look inside, I am seeing problem inside. There was a night. You were sitting. Exactly. There is a corridor. Exactly. Where you were sitting. Exactly. This woman came to you. Yeah. She was asking you, give me your phone. Exactly. Give me your phone. Exactly. Man, when I look at the phone. Ex when I look at the phone, I am seeing like techno. Like techno. And touch phone. Exactly. And she asks you, give me your touch phone. I want to look for something. There was darkness. Exactly. And you said, ah, ah, you use your own phone. She took your phone and she take it to her knock grab. Exactly. That what day was the phone. Baby. Can I? Bro. She started. And you now said, I'm letting you knock grab. You said, oh, you don't know touch. So you are using my phone. You want to break my phone. You started beating her. Yes, father. You beat her up. Yes, man of you God. You beat her up. That, yes, man you of God. You beat her up. I beat her. You beat her. My father died. After beating her, she just run and she go and carry a stick. She went to carry a stick from outside. She went to a place and outside there, I am seeing a meek color. A meek color, meek color. Meek color, meek a meek color. Islander. A 
Islander. 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 Islander
just start tormenting her. In fact, it's very delicate, brethren. Whenever something like that happened, then she will grow angry. She will not cook for the house. She herself, she will not eat. Then, to me, to get her attention, it will take me more than four days before if I going to have, before you listen to me. But before she listen to me, I will kneel down and plead her. And something that I know that I'm quite right. But in order to peace to reign in the house, I'm always doing that. Nevertheless, coming to the, the, last, the first one that happened, just a common thing that I received a call by unknown person is a woman. Then, uh, he asked me to want to settle 34 Sunday like this, I'm in the parlor, and that's the number called. And what, when, when the number called, I have registered, just registered the number, Enugu girl. So then, when the number now called, and I pick it, and asked, I'm warning her that she shouldn't call this my line. How did she got this line? So my wife, we are together enjoying the parlor. So my wife now asked me, who is that the person? And I tell her, take my phone and call this very number back and hear from the person. That's all. She gets angry immediately and left me in the, the parlor there and went to our bedroom. Hmm. That day, she didn't cook in the house. My mother is there with us and my sister. What next is that throughout that day, so he didn't talk to anybody, even my children. He didn't care for anybody. She did not enter the kitchen. So I just met my sister and told her, enter the kitchen, cook for the children so that we can be able to eat. She now asked me, brother, what happened that she's going to enter the kitchen? And I told her that I have a misunderstanding with my wife. She said that she's not going to enter the kitchen, that it is not her duty, that I should go and settle with her. And I went back to her and pleading her. She didn't have, or the, 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 the hairs on her head didn't turn. So, I now come back and told my sister, just go and cook the food. Equally, my mother now came and asked me. So just I told my mother everything. I told my mother that let them be patient that I, I know what I'm just passing through. It's, she's, uh, she, this is normally, I can say that it's a normal activity. <laughs> People of God, celebrate Jesus. Yes, our daddy is trying to explain to us, people of God, that due to that spiritual husband that really afflicted the life of his wife, he went through hell. And the wife was so much disrespectful towards him. And uh, despite what he went through, the God of Prophet Jeremiah was there to wipe his tears away. And we saw in, in the video... And on that video, the man of God revealing the root cause of your problem. And after that, the man of God prayed for you, lay hands on you, and proclaim your freedom, your deliverance. Can you tell us, sir, the changes you've been experiencing ever since she received her deliverance? Amen. Actually, I really thank God. So because after that last Friday, there is a lot of changes. She's, the way that she's behaving is not the way that she's behaving before. Which Power! Are you clapping for Jesus? Can you make it louder than that, people of God? Praise the Lord. So, since that day, we are living normal. We can sit together, discuss as 
a husband and wife. Praise the Lord. Wow, people of God, celebrate the Lord once again. Yes, let's listen to your wife. Ma, today you are set free. You remember how you were so much under the influence of that spiritual husband and the spirit of anger that led you even to break your husband's vehicle, to break his phone, to talk to him anyhow. How is your life now? And uh, how do you feel by seeing your husband beside you living peacefully today? As you can see, he's my hobby now. Power! I can't stay without him again. And to announce to you that the, my honeymoon started two days ago. People of God, jump up on your feet. Celebrate the God of Prophet Emmanuel for fame. If you are here facing marital problem, because you are under this grace, as our Papa will lay hands on you, that will be the beginning of your honeymoon. If you are the one, jump up on your feet and shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Say like a minute, hallelujah. hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. We thank God Almighty for what he has done. You have said it all. You have been disconnected from that spiritual husband and that spirit of anger. What word of advice can you give to many couples out there facing similar problem? What can you tell them right now? My advice to the viewers all over the world is that when you have problem, Try to know that you have problem because some of us, you, you will be in trouble, but you will not accept that there is pro something wrong. When you know that you have problem, it will take you to the next step, which is seeking for solution to your problem. And which I got my own in city land, Mercy City land. My advice is that no matter the problem you have, pray to God Almighty. With God, all things are possible. And my question is, is there any impossible things for God to do? The answer is no. So, believe in God. People of God, celebrate the Lord. You can see that our sister, our mother is overwhelmed by what this God of Prophet Jeremiah has done in our lives. And we rejoice and we thank God Almighty for that. Voilà, chère Tessater, nous remercions le Seigneur pour la vie de ce couple, cette femme qui fut affligée par un mari spirituel, ce mari de nuit qui l'a vraiment tourmenté pratiquement depuis 11 ans, depuis qu'elle s'est mariée, chère Tessater, c'était comme un calvaire sur terre. Alors, tel qu'elle a relaté, chère Tessater, elle était également affligée par un esprit de colère qui la rendait vraiment très, très réfractaire et très, très agressive euh, à l'égard de son mari. Alors, chère Tessater, elle a dit, euh, elle n'avait vraiment pas de respect vis-à-vis euh, -vis de son mari. Et ceci vraiment faisait même appel aux membres de famille qui ont essayé de pouvoir résoudre ce problème, mais en vain. Alors, et parfois, elle sortait même de la maison, elle allait, elle pouvait passer même certains jours, chère Tessater, sans toutefois parler, même dire ne serait-ce qu'un seul mot à son dépôt. Alors, ce qui a fait, son mari était vraiment perturbé, chère Tessater, ne savant, sachant vraiment pas quoi faire. Et même lorsqu'il recevait juste un appel téléphonique d'une femme, ceci causait vraiment tant de problèmes dans son foyer. Alors, il était déprimé dû à ce problème et parce que ce mari de nuit l'apparaissait tout le temps dans les rêves et en ayant des rapports sexuels avec elle, ceci perturbait et causait tant de confusion dans sa vie maritale. Alors, chère Tessater, elle a dit qu'elle a décidé juste de venir rechercher vraiment la solution à son problème ici à Mercy City où fut localisé par un message prophétique et que nous avons vu dans la vidéo, l'homme de Dieu révélant la racine de son problème et proclamant effectivement le délivrance et après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, chère Tessater, elle fut complètement libérée de ce mari de nuit, libérée de cet esprit de colère. Aujourd'hui, elle a tant de respect pour son époux. Ils sont maintenant très, très réconciliés, vivant en harmonie pour la gloire du Seigneur. Apostle pour le Seigneur. So we thank God Almighty for what he has done. Let this wonderful testimony be permanent into your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free.